the next procedure, let's show an example of a front-facing camera. I'll simply scroll down to the front-facing camera and start that calibration procedure. We'll initiate the scan tool procedure to begin with. Next, we'll go to the home position. Always follow the on-screen instructions and graphics to ensure that you're in the proper location. You'll know this because the targets will go green on the wheels. We've actually got all four in this one. I'll continue on. We'll define clear space with our green line lasers and our red dot lasers. Now what we need to do is define where we will place our camera sensor tower during the procedure. So the cameras will move up automatically to define this position. Our red dot lasers are pointing towards the front of the vehicle here behind me. This is where we will be moving the camera sensors to. So let's go ahead and take a measurement back there. Those will flash and then adjust to the floor height. Now I need to simply pull the handles in on the sensor tower, allowing me to move it. At this point, what I will want to do is bring the red lasers into the white capsules and illuminate them on the base. When I get one side in, I will simply release the brake and rotate the opposing side in to illuminate that capsule as well. Once it's illuminated, I've now positioned the camera sensors. Let's go ahead and mount the target boards. Ultimate 8 ass will go ahead and move itself down to a loading, easy loading position. I'll mount the target boards. The target boards are indifferent of left and right. So either side you put on first or last will not matter. Once I have the target boards mounted, I will need to mount targets on them. At this point, I will see that I need target number two for the left. So target two on the left. You'll also notice next to the two, there is a red X. That will go to a green check mark once I engage the target on the board. Simply rotate the target down onto the board and release the straps on either side, rolling the target down gently. The next target on the right will be target number four. Again, you'll see the red X. And once the target is mounted correctly, that will turn to a green check mark. Repeat the same as you did on the left on the right, rolling the target down gently. At this point, it's handy to grab your remote. Because what you'll need to do at this point will do be a lateral adjustment. So I will move the left target board to the left until the bar graph is green. Once that bar graph is green, I'll go to the right target board and move it to the right until that bar graph is green on the right as well. Once we have both bar graphs green on left and right, we'll go to the next step. Ultimate ADAS will orient itself to the correct location. From there, simply use the scan tool to trigger the calibration and finish the job.